Okay, we're about to do the aspirin to acid lab demo. And what we do is we take acetyl salicylic acid, which has been extracted from aspirins, and we acid cat we catalyze it with water, excuse me, we combine it with water that's been catalyzed with sulfuric acid. That's what that little H plus means. And this the water with the H plus attacks this oxygen. And we get salicylic acid here, OH and H here, and acetic acid, which has an OH here as well from this acetate group. And we're going to try sniffing it to see if we get a vinegary, vinegary smell. That's basically what we do. The first stage is to extract the acetyl salicylic acid from the aspirin tablets. Now we tried this experiment before and we didn't get enough crystals the first time and the second time we got too many. What I assumed was that these tablets were a little bit too small in the, from this aspirin bottle, smaller than what the authors intended. So I put 22 of them, or 20 of them in here, this will be 22, 21, 22, rather than the 10 or 15 they recommended. And instead of adding uh, 120 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to add just 60, excuse my arm, so that we get a more concentrated mixture. That's just about 60 milliliters. It's not that important how much alcohol we use, just generally in those proportions. Pour it into the beaker. And we tried even more than this the other day, and we got so many flakes of aspirin, we didn't need that many. You can see it dissolving there already. It dissolves fairly well just in the alcohol. But we're going to heat it up in the microwave just as it says. Now here it is, after coming out of the microwave. You can see it's a little cloudy, but most of it's dissolved. Why are we doing this? We're doing this because the acetyl salicylic acid and the aspirin is combined with different kinds of binding materials in order to make the tablets and we wanted to get a pure uh, mixture of acetyl salicylic acid or a pure sample. We'll get a piece of filter paper or paper towel they recommend and I'm just going to check that you can see that here. Put the filter paper, which is fairly easy to filter through, on top of that beaker, and pour what we have through the filter paper. And you'll see it goes through very easily. Let's just throw this filter paper away. Here we have a clear liquid then, which is alcohol with acetyl salicylic acid, presumably dissolved in it. Now, the acetyl salicylic acid is more soluble in the, I'm just going to wash this out. More soluble in the alcohol than it is in the, in water. So what we're going to do is pour water into our mix. This is an important step. And you might be able to see, can't see it there, but we'll put some more water in it. Put a whole lot of water in it. After a while, you can see tiny little crystals forming. You can't see it so clearly here. They're very, very tiny. We'll give them a little time to grow. And We'll put it up to the light. Well, we didn't get many crystals that time. But we did yesterday, and we filtered them, and we got this. We let them dry overnight. That's what they look like. I'm going to close up with these little crystals. We're going to put just a few in this test tube. There they are. We're going to add some 0 0.01 molar sulfuric acid, which you should have. 
Well, it just covers the acetyl salicylic acid. There you are. We're going to heat it gently in this flame. And I'm going to snip it. Nothing yet. Ah, a little bit of tingly. Yep, a little bit of tingly sensation in my nose. Oh, yes, vinegar. <laughs> I could put that on my salad. That's the entire experiment. That's all you really have to do. Just sniff it and see if it smells like vinegar. And if it does, you win. That's it for this demonstration.